Thomas Hanna here again with Much Prof to show you another how-to build. Uh, this time we're going to use some cardboard and I'm actually going to show you step by step how to do this stuff. So you're going to see a full build instead of just a paint build. Um, on this particular episode, I, I may get some hate for it, I may get some shade. Um, I'm showing you how to make fidget spinners. Uh, this one was made out of cardboard. Uh, I don't I don't necessarily get it, but hey, I played with pogs as a kid, so uh, if you don't know what a pog is, that shows your age. So I'm not going to judge. Uh, I am going to show you how to make one of these. Good idea for parents who throw little kid parties. Um, my my sister-in-law is always trying to think of games and things to play with the kids um, during the birthday parties. I've got a niece and a nephew. Um, this would be a good thing to keep kids busy. You could pre-cut these things in advance, just help them glue them together, uh, and insert the, the little bearings. The bearings I got on Amazon for like $14 for 30, so that makes them like 50 cents a piece or so, even less. Uh, the cardboard was free. It's from an Amazon box. Uh, and then the price of hot glue is like five bucks for 100 sticks. Uh, and then I just put little stickers on it. You could go buy stickers. I made these just on my printer uh, onto sticky paper, uh, the a Avery stickery, stick, whatever it is. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, that paper uh, and just put it on there. So follow along with me as we build a fidget spinner.
And we are complete. The cardboard customized fidget spinner. You can download templates off of a Google search or just find a picture of one and trace that on the cardboard and cut it out. Whatever shape you want. Um, I, that's, that's how I did it. I think total this may have cost less than a dollar. Uh, the bearings were like 50 cents per bearing because uh, I got them in a pack of 30 for 14 bucks. Hot glue stick maybe 10-15 cents per glue stick. Uh, the cardboard was free so you could make one for like 75 cents. Um, that's a pretty good parting gift and something to keep little kids entertained while making it. Um, I don't I don't know that I, I necessarily get this, but uh, I'm not going to knock this generation's toys. My generation played with Pogs. If you don't know what that is, Google it. Um, I, some of you may play with jumping jacks or hula hoops or whatever. Um, so show your friends how to make one of these and maybe they will uh, give you and then when they ask you how, how'd you make that you can give them one of those and say much props it is kind of entertaining to watch